On Monday, Hoosiers for Life released a video showing Nisley's intent to introduce a protection at conception bill. My goal is to deregulate abortion right out of existence in Indiana. In the video, it says the bill would use Indiana code, which says human life begins when an egg is fertilized as backup. We requested an interview with Nisley to explain this. A spokesman declined on Nisley's behalf and released this statement. Quote, in the upcoming legislative session, I plan to file a protection at conception bill, which would prohibit abortions in Indiana after life begins at conception. My goal is to treat the death of an unborn child like you would any other human being. As an elected official, I will continue to support pro-life policies seeking to preserve the dignity of all human life and provide a voice for the voiceless, end quote. However, we still had questions, so we tried again to reach Nisley. You have reached the voicemail box for Kurt Nisley. Call. Hello, you have reached the Nisleys. Please leave a message. After Please call. call. Even a visit to his home and no response from Representative Nisley himself. This certainly on its face is unconstitutional. I don't think anyone would argue that. President of Planned Parenthood of Indiana and Kentucky, Betty Cockrum, says in her opinion, the most disturbing part of the bill is that it would ban abortion at conception. Well, the implications of suggesting that a ban exists that has to protect a fertilized egg would put at risk countless methods of birth control. Of course, Planned Parenthood says if this bill comes to fruition, they do plan on fighting it. And coming up at 6 here, White Cockrum wasn't surprised a bill like this is being proposed. All right, thank you so much.